Thank you for joining me on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm Shayna Park, your host for Money Talks. My guest is Ha'aheo Scanlon. She is a doctor of acupuncture and area director with PSI Seminars. Welcome to the show, Ha'aheo. Aloha. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you for being on. I love chatting with you. You're just a bundle of joy. And I would love for you to share with everyone about yourself and who you are. And when did you do PSI seminars? I am, as he said, you said a doctor of acupuncture. I am also the area director for PSI seminars. I actually took the course in 1987. I am a mother of seven and a grandmother of 13. Wow. And my youngest is just four months old, my youngest grandson. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a big, and, big family. A big family. Well, my oldest granddaughter is 26. So there's a big range between them. Well, that's always the best. You have the oldest, the youngest, and you just get to keep on playing with all of your grandkids all throughout your life. Yes, yes. I love it. It's my favorite occupation is being Nana to 13 grandchildren. I believe family is the most important um, thing in the world, and I can see you feel the same. So tell me about your family and, you know, tell me about PSI seminars. Well, I'll tell you that. Uh, I took the basic in 1987, and five years later, my husband passed away suddenly. And I gave birth to my youngest son at uh, three days later. And I know that it's the work that I've been involved in with PSI and how I've been able to raise my children to be very productive indiv individuals in the society. And so my oldest son, and my middle son and my younger son work for the movie industry. And they are definitely facing some challenges right now. And so we all work together as a family to support each other. My middle son is the president of the IATSE union, which takes care of all the people that are in the movie industry here in Hawaii that do all of the work behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. And then my daughter is, uh, I, took, I was pregnant with my daughter when I attended in 1987, and she now owns her own salon at Le Monde, and she is actually a curl specialist, so she would love to do your hair, Shana. <laughs> I would love to get my hair done. <laughs> and then my youngest, who was born after his father passed away, is a very successful professional entertainer. He's also on the board of directors for Ola Brew, and he is their celebrity farmer. So he plants all of the tea leaf that they're going to use for their newest product. Wow. So all of my children are quite successful. My youngest daughter teaches preschool, uh, Hawaiian immersion preschool. And my oldest daughter, Taimani, works for me. So she works with me at PSI seminars. Did I cover all my children? I think I did. <laughs> it's great to hear how successful all your children are. And would you say it's a result of PSI seminars? I definitely would say. they. We have classes for children 5 to 12. And so my oldest and my number two went to the class when I first started. And my children are very tall. And so my son was probably about six foot two when he went to the children's class. And he said, mom, this class is for babies. <laughs> and I said, well, I'm sorry. And in order to go to the adult basic for free, he had to attend the children's class. So I said, you don't make $450 back in 1987. So you need to go. <laughs> and by the second day, he loved it. He was so happy. They learn tools to be successful in school. They learn tools to communicate as a family. And so it was very uh, amazing for my two children to start the work. And then every one of my children went at five years old. The only one, my youngest, his teacher, his preschool teacher was the facilitator. And when he was a little over four and a half, she said, he's ready. And his first goal was to attend Kamehameha schools as a kindergartner. And wow. he got in. 
He wrote it down. He drew a picture of it and he was accepted in kindergarten. Wow. He created that. He created that he with his. Wow. And, you know, you mentioned your daughter and how she works with you. I work with my mom and I believe with PSI, because I've done the work myself, that what I have learned in PSI seminars helped with my relationship with my mom and communicating. And you have a personal relationship, but a working dynamic as well. I feel at times it could be a little tricky. However, thanks to PSI seminars, we have a great working relationship because of all the tools that we have learned in the class. Yes, I would definitely agree. I, when my daughter was young, we did not have the greatest relationship. She had an amazing relationship with her dad. And when he passed away, it was very, very difficult. And we struggled. And we kept using the tools. And we kept going back to one thing that PSI has offered for 50 years is that you can go back for free anytime you want to. And so I took her to the class. And we kept working on this relationship and communication. And if you had told me when I first took the class 36 years ago that my daughter would and I would work together, I would have told you it's impossible. And today we have an amazing working relationship, amazing communication. And for her birthday, she decided to go to the Beyonce concert in Kansas City, Missouri, Wow. with her 26 year old daughter wow and i was able to help them buy the tickets to go to the beyonce concert well first and foremost big big that is such a big thing to attend the beyonce concert and for you to help her i can only imagine how expensive the tickets were <laughs> i don't know yeah. if that was her birthday concert i've heard about it but i heard the tickets are crazy <laughs> Yes, I. she bought the tickets to the concert, and then she dis, she discovered that tickets to fly were pretty high. And wow. so through creativity and through one of a, my other friends who I enrolled in the basic, she flew to St. Louis, Missouri, instead of Kansas City. Picked, she, he picked her up and her daughter from the airport, and they drove to Kansas City, which saved them about 50% for their ticket. Wow. And he said he's been to concerts all over. And he said, this was the best concert ever. I love that. And a lot of times too, for me at least, before I took PSI seminars, when I would hit, um, when I would hit a block in any situation, I would just say, oh, oh well. <laughs> But I realized, and with the, with the story you just shared, um, after doing the work, you become solution oriented. And, yeah. you know, no is not an answer. It's okay, what other way are we going to do to figure this out to make it happen? And I, that's probably one of the greatest things I learned in PSI because seriously, if I just stopped at all the things that I had challenges with, then I, really don't think I'd be where I'm at today. I would agree. You know, during COVID, there's so much that went on. And even for us as a company, we had to pivot because we do in-person seminars. So everybody sits together in a big room. And in most cities across the nation, across Canada, we were not allowed to meet in person. Now, I am grateful to say here in Honolulu, we have had 50 years of in-person seminars. And so we were able to find solutions. We met at the Blaisdell. We had a room that seats 300. And we ended up, we were only allowed to have 50 people in a room that seats 300. Everybody wow. set apart. The facilitator was in Denver. They couldn't fly here. And so we had a 10 by 10 screen. And my son, who did audio for an audio visual, what, I'm not sure what you even call that, for um, <laughs> the Fast and the Furious in Kauai. And he's also the union member who does it at the Blaisdell. And he set it all up so we could stream the facilitator. We could have microphones set up 
So it was as if the facilitator was in our room and yet he was on a 10 by 10 screen. Uh, and so, so we're grateful to say we are the only city that continued in-person seminars during the pandemic and everybody else, but also with psych seminars, we had to pivot and they created online seminars so that people from Bali to Turkey and everybody in between and all around the world can now participate in PSI during our basic seminar. So what I'm hearing is, although there was COVID and it was a very rough time, you guys took a pivot and a great solution came out of it, which was online seminars. And now everyone can do it all across the world. Yes, my friend from Bali, I met her in 2019 and she was on the first online seminar. She wow. started at midnight and they wow. did until eight in the morning. I know. And I was feeling bad that I had to wake up at 5.30 here in Hawaii. And she was able to use the tools because in two, and in uh, during COVID, most of Bali shut down. Their medical system is not up to par with ours. And so she had a hotel, she had some um, stores and a coffee shop and all of them are successful. And then she opened an ice cream parlor during COVID. Wow. By wow. using the tools she learned in the basic online, she said it was worth waking up at midnight. I would say it's worth waking up at midnight as well. <laughs> so for you and your experience, I want you to share your background and really go into detail how PSI changed your life. I know you shared about your kids, but what did it do for you? Well, I would say that when I took the seminar in 1987, my mother asked me to attend. She told me there was a money back guarantee. And I thought, I'm going to get my money back. That's a picture of my mother, my two sisters and I, and we all did the women's leadership class together. And today we have four generations of my family of women that have participated in PSI seminars. And when I took the class, I didn't tell my mother that I had a house in foreclosure. I was struggling financially. And so the 450 that it cost, I told her I couldn't afford that. And she just said, you have to pay because I've already paid and I want you to go. But she told me there was a money back guarantee. And I thought, well, great. I'm yeah. going money back and she'll never know that my house is in foreclosure and that I am struggling so bad. And then I learned so much in the first few days. I met a woman who sat next to me. And when I shared with this stranger that my house was in foreclosure, she said, I can sell your house for a profit. And I said, well, everyone has written to me to say, they'll just buy it for what I owe or a little less than what I owe. And she said, no, no, I'll sell it for a profit. And she came to my home in Kaneohe and she asked for a pan and cinnamon. I said, why do you need a pan and cinnamon to sell my home? And she said, it gives the essence of apple pie baking and it allows people to feel a home. I thought, that's the craziest idea I have ever heard. I handed her the pan, I handed her the cinnamon and I left and she sold my home for a $50,000 profit over what I owed. Wow in very short order before the foreclosure. And so I was able to at least find solutions. And I thought, there's something about this seminar that works, that a stranger I met in a class that was, back then it was four days, now it's three days, could create solutions for my financial struggle. Seemed so amazing to me. And so I've never stopped. We are able to go back for free for the rest of our lives. And I say, I have probably gone back over 300 times. I've lost count <laughs> because I always learn something new and yeah. something that serves the situation I'm in. And so, like I said, my husband passed away five years after I started and I supported my children in making sure that they continued 
so that we'd at least have a common communication mm -hmm. with the, whatever they all have different, well, I shouldn't say they all, they have different behavioral styles, which you learn in the basic. And so I learned to communicate with them in the way they need to hear it. And it's just been a way of life for me. For and 30. now I want you to share about your life now, because we just talked about some exciting, I don't want to share it. I know we have some slides that will come up, but we have some exciting things that happened for you in terms of, you know, you were talking about going into foreclosure, but now where you're at and with the property you own, please share about that. Yes, yeah, so I'll start out by saying my realtor is Zenny Kai, and she works for Team Lolly Real Estate, and all of their employees attend the basic seminar, and I believe all of their realtors attend the basic seminar, and so my goal was to buy a house, and I will say, and I was working with my son and my daughter, and I will say that Zenny put in eight offers that were declined. And so one of the things we talk about in psych seminars is resiliency and that there is a reason for everything. And so one night at one o'clock in the morning, I was searching Zillow and I found a house and it was, I found a property. I would should say, I found a property and that property had a three bedroom, one and a half bath house that said it was uh, ready to move in. And a six bedroom, four bath house that said in the listing needs work on the second floor. That's all it said at mm -hmm. one o'clock in the morning. And as soon as I saw it, I just felt like we had been declined for the other eight to prepare us for this one. It was under a million dollars. And I said, I want, I wrote to her in the morning. I said, I want to put an offer. She said, the house is not listed. You're not able to put an offer on a house that's not listed. I said, yes, you are. Because I was a realtor in 1993 and I knew you could. Mm -hmm. Not that you know what they want. I said, I gave her the amount. I said, put the offer in. We've already been rejected eight times. Mm -hmm. It's the worst that could happen. And so we put the offer in. And it was definitely under what they were requesting when they finally listed the homes. And so I was in the basic seminar. And I believe that is such a key. I was in the basic seminar working on December in December of last year and December of 2022. And she sent me a text that said, they have countered your offer. And I said to her, accept the counter. She said, well, you don't want to do that because it's higher. It's got some contingencies. They're not allow, They're not going to pay any fees. She gave me a whole list. I said, accept the counter because I knew that if I liked the counter offer, they wouldn't be able to talk to anyone else until I declined. And so some of the requirements were they weren't paying any seller's fees. We had to close in 45 days. And what was the other? Oh, they weren't doing any renovation. So oh, if we wow. found something that didn't work, too bad. That's on you. That's on me. And so they countered with 975000 And I said, we're going to make it work. And what we discovered once we accepted the offer, what their counter was that they had subdivided the property. So we could get a mortgage on one, one of the buildings mm -hmm. and we had to pay cash for the other. But what was left was what I had in the bank. And so we paid cash for the six bedroom, four bath, which is still floating in the air on pallets. <laughs> We've applied for permits and we're in the permitting process. There it is. Wow. You see, you see how it says needs work on the second floor might have been a little incorrect. <laughs> I said, I don't know what that means in the listing. And so <laughs> we got a mortgage on the livable house and we got, uh, we were able to buy the whole 
half an acre for 975,000. Oh, that is incredible. It is. And I'll tell you that some of the offers we put in were 1.2 million for a three bedroom, two bath house on 7,500 square feet of land. And had we been successful with that, we wouldn't be able to buy this house today. Wow. So I'm very happy. I'm happy for you. You created that. Thank you. Thank you. And you it was just clear. We teach a formula in the basic that says 100%. You can get 100% of what your intention is if you follow the formula. Yes. And, get results. and I put that to work. Now, if you see that car in the front, that is yet another example of my 100% intention because I have wanted a purple Tesla for four years. And, and you definitely got one. <laughs> I got my purple Tesla parked in front of my house and my little Maltese, which I've always wanted a Maltese. So, all things. All dreams come true. And we believe Sci Seminars is all about hope and possibilities. Yeah, I believe Sci Seminars turns dreams into reality. Yes. yes. By just doing the work. And um, with that being said, what are some major success stories that um, you've seen from a person who did PSI Seminars? I know we had talked earlier and you had helped. Um, this lady gone Shark Tank and she's a millionaire now. So please share. Well, I will tell you, I didn't help her go on Shark Tank. I helped her go. She was on a team. I facilitate a 90 day program, coaching program. And it's about goal achieving. A lot of people take goal setting seminars. We have goal achieving. And in Honolulu, the mantra is best game ever. Remember <laughs> that, Shana, best game ever. And so my Liu was uh, playing a, a PLD game, Pace Setter Leadership Dynamics, and I was her coach. When she set a goal, she had created an invention called the Crea Clip, and she set a goal to present it on the Oprah Winfrey show. And she called me to say, it's leaking. I said, why does it have water? <laughs> and then I said to her, you're already there. You might as well do the presentation. And she was selected in the top five. She wow. didn't get selected as number one. And I won't tell you what she found out. I'm not sure if I can share that. Anyway, what I'll <laughs> say is Home Shopping Network was watching the presentation. And once she didn't get selected as number one, they came and offered her an opportunity to be on Home Shopping Network. She went on. She sold out, I believe it was, Three to 5,000 units in 15 minutes. Goodness. And she went on to continue her career clip very successfully. Recently, somebody said, why don't you do your videos in different languages? And instantly, she became more successful. And then she applied for Shark Tank, and she got on, and she won. Yes, and so I, heard, I heard of that story. I I believe I watched that story too. I'm a big Shark Tank fan. <laughs> oh, I watched it over and over. I was so proud of her. It was like she was one of my children. And recently, she has always wanted to be a mom. And recently, she just gave birth to a baby in November. And they are traveling all around the world. She took her baby to Canada, where her parents live, and then to Germany, where her husband's parents live. And she is living a beautiful life and she has rental properties on the big island in Waikiki. And she is extreme. And she says she owes it to all that she learned in PSI seminars. Yes. She's just one. Wanna... <laughs> I know. I, I agree um, with all my success and you sharing that success story that if you don't work on yourself, um, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of things to work on when it comes to personal development. And I want to ask you, Ha'aheo, what is the cost of the seminar and what is the cost of not doing personal development work? I would say the cost of the basic is $795. Oftentimes, if somebody wants to enroll, I can get a $200 off certificate. 
so they could call me personally. And I believe the cost of not attending is not living your dreams. And especially the ones that are so far of a stretch that you won't even write them down. Mm -hmm. All of the tools that we've taught, we've been teaching for 50 years. And the most successful are those who actually do the work and come back over and over and write down your goals and dreams. Just talking to you, you're re-inspiring me over and over again of why I love the work and why I continue to share about PSI seminars. I've told many people about it. A lot of people have done the basic, including my other half. And I, I know it has helped our relationship, our communication, and just like how you shared for your family, it has helped my family as well. And PSI seminars, I look at it as a gift that just keeps on giving. Yes. It really is. So when are these classes? Our next basic is October 13th to the 15th at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. And then we do have an online basic October 20th to the 23rd. And then our next basic in Honolulu is December 1st to the 3rd at, at the convention center. Okay, great. I will be there. <laughs> I will be there because like Ohio mentioned, you are able to take the class for free for your whole entire life. So I have gone back to the basic, gone back to the seminars time and time again. And what she had shared earlier too is that where, wherever you are in your life, when you attend again, you get feedback on how to excel your personal growth. And for me, before PSI seminars, I was in a fixed mindset and investing in yourself and your dreams, you become going into a growth mindset and dreaming is not dreaming where PSI, they turn it into reality. And I'm very, very, very grateful for the seminars and I'm very grateful for you, Ha'ahel. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you for inviting me. I wasn't sure what to think. And I feel so blessed and honored that you asked me to be on your show. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you all for joining me on Money Talks. I hope to see you all at the next episode. I am Machina Park, a Gen Z inspiring lives and liberties. Thank you. Thank you.